All right, what is up, you guys, and welcome, of course, to the well, Road to Master Rank, right? That's probably what I'm gonna call it. This is the team I'm gonna use, and uh, the team ID is down below. Basically, if you saw my previous video, this was basically the idea, but instead of Beatic, we had Tranitar. Tranitar, it's pretty straightforward. We have a Bomb Snow with Aurora Veil and uh, Scarf variant. Uh, Able Dot Speed, one of five Pokemons. Uh, clearly, gets beaten by Fire Blast variants of Hydreigon. I am considering right now having this Pokemon sashed. We'll see what happens. Beatic, pretty straightforward, what it's created, it's supposed to do. Uh, it has Aqua Jet for the last inch of either killing something or what could possibly be better is which is would be setting up um, a rain for Seismitoad which is a choice band rain dance variant. Hail is straightforward with Weather Ball, uh, Hail makes sure that the Weather Ball becomes ice and uh, Dragapult, Substitute Disabled set and then Togekiss with Barberiberi. Mainly this set is able to deal with potential um, Gigantamax and variants of Hydreigon but also Excadrill which is a tremendous threat for this team. And also, just as a whole, like this team struggles for some Pokemon such as um, Darmanita, which is very, very tough on us. And um, there are options to avoid that, but uh, I am not taking those precautions. Uh, so we're gonna go to rank battles. Um, really, nothing to it. And uh, we actually are two wins in. Um, so, not that impressive. Um, yes, I wanna showcase my team. If you get beaten by Obama Snow, you should be allowed to look why you lost. Uh, but yeah, this team, like I said, it has quite a lot of flaws, but the only like real merit it does have is that some players are struggling because they don't know what they're fitting off against. And that could be a positive trait for us. Most often it isn't. <laughs> so Japanese player, that's gonna be good. Uh, we see Grimmsnarl. Ooh, this could be either Trick Room or it could be uh, Tailwind Support with Whimsicard. Either way, it could be somewhat nasty. Obama Snow is not that good in this game. It really isn't. And uh, Seismator could be alright. Yeah, that's the thing though. I could lead off with um, something to break the Grim Snarl if it is a dual screen variant. But I don't have the merits to really do extremely well here. Rotom Heat is tough on us. Right. Um, <laughs> this was kind of tough. This is a good team. I like this. Um, I don't like Whimsicott. Like, Whimsicott is super tough, naturally. You know what? I'll take the Bomber Snow route anyway. I'll make it real simple for me. If I lose, I lose because this is a very, very well strategized team. Um, Beatic has its merits, but... Yeah, it's gonna have a rough time. I'm gonna go for a fast combination. I really, really hope that... Um, his option with Grim Snarl is a dual screen set, and that's gonna be just generally tough on us. Um, but I think I have options. Where is Whimsy Card? Then uh, I can want to kill it with a Bomb Snow. Let's see. Elite Snarl with Grim Snarl. Ah, it's tough. It is expected, but it's tough. So I have two options here. Um, Here I go for a Veil on my own, or I go for Blizzard. I feel Blizzard even if it goes for Light Screen. And uh, we'll take it from there. Reflect. Ah, that's good. That's actually kind of nice on us. As the Blizzard should do a really good chunk. Yeah, it's wrong half. We like that. And, uh, well, he's gonna follow that up with a light screen. But at least by now, I do KO him. I put him in range here where uh, he definitely should be feel pressured. Um, this is probably a standard light play variant. No, 
I don't want to allow him to attack me. This guy usually carries thunder waves, so I kind of want to avoid that. Even withdraws, that's actually kind of good, depending on what it brings in. Ooh, Rotom. <laughs> okay. So we'll go for that choice panel liquidation then. Um, he could will wisp me here. But he doesn't have any stab that hurts me. But he could have nasty plant. A light screen or reflect this up so it's not a preferable situation to be in. Right, he switches out, probably gonna sack Grimmsnarl. Um, he doesn't. He actually doesn't. It still does alright though, right? I don't believe this guy has anything properly for me. Yeah, you know what? I'll make this real simple. This is... This is what we do. Let's see, I Dynamax first. So this could very well be that he... Um, decide not to Gigantamax himself. Now Power Whip will not take him out. But it should do alright. Let's see, air slash, and I cannot get flinched. So, yeah, cool. Cool. Oh, it actually kills him. Okay. Ooh, you don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. Well, we'll take it, right? Um, I really don't know what he could do to me. As of now, I think I just win. Even with the reflex up, I should be fine. I'm kind of surprised that... You know, his team was not extremely weak to Seismitov, but there were issues. And... Um, you know, one figure, you follow up on them. I have no idea how I want to counteract this. Um, because I'm gonna set up my my range so I will faster and uh, I should be faster than the Grimmsnarl anyway. So now I get the rain and I have one more turn off um, well of Dynamaxing plus rain, so it you no know, it's a wrap. I'll be honest. Like, looking back at this team, there... Air Slash was never the play, right? Just thinking about it, there was nothing on his team there that really could have dealt properly with... Uh, with Seismitoad. And I'm surprised that was the option. Right, he decides to Gigantamax in here. Um, I'll guess the combination that makes most sense here is him to go for... Um, what do you call it? I was going to say growth, but uh, an overheat to uh, negate my uh, my Swiss swim. We'll see how much I do myself. Oh, Max Guard, that's actually far worse. <laughs> that's good. That's a good play. So I'm out. So Bandit Liquidation it is. And his play should really be just to get that rain out of here, right? So we'll get one massive hit I'm in. Please, please make this good. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what, that is what you want to see. So the Max Flare and... Uh, it 
didn't do that much, actually. And it looks like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna absolutely kill him now, anyway. I was kind of considering here if I should switch out, mainly because... Um, Oh my god, was that a crit? No, it wasn't, it just really did damage. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I was considering switching in and out here. Um, Alright, cool. I'll be honest, I didn't even consider that. You still need to go for overheat from here. So I'm gonna go for an aura aura though. And I should not take this overheat. Oh, jeez. Why, though? Why, though? Alright, I'll see how he plays this out. If he has a nasty plot, that's gonna be interesting. But there's the overheat, and of course you're gonna chaos, no doubt. And the issue I have with Beatek here is that I have nothing that really hurts him properly besides Aqua Jet. And it is whether or not he is in range. Bill is there to give him a potential second wind. I just kinda feel I messed up somewhere down the line. Had I just sacked a bomb of snow or something like that, it, I would have been fine. Uh, but yeah, Aqua Jet display. Like, no matter what, this is how I'm gonna have to do it. We have Veil and we have, like, a crit will kill me basically, but we didn't have to find that out, but cool. So we win this one, <sighs> not sure that was really that good. Like, I, the Star Wars good for me, um, he didn't deal well with Seismato, but I had a better play, which I should have used, which was turning off the sun uh, by switching in my uh, Vertic and then a Bomber Snow. Um, so I feel that. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll continue battling. Uh, one more game at least. But that wasn't, like I said, that wasn't a very good game. Um, it started off really well for me, but um, I absolutely messed up there. And that's always something you're going to be doing. Like, you get, you get really, really into it and then you mess up. Okay. Dragapult, Hydreigon. This is a lot of tough mods, actually. Um, Beatek is having zero issues here. It's a mod that absolutely wins, naturally. But besides that, like, there are a lot of mods here that just pressures me. The question is how I want to go about this. I think we'll lead off with Toikis and then we'll have Bomb Snow and Beatty just in the back. Because <laughs> I don't think I want to. Um, I don't want Whimsicott to get too much momentum out of this game. Uh, it will do that naturally with Tailwind if he decides to take that route. But I want to hope that he leads off with Hydreigon or Dragapult. Actually, decides on Bishop. So, I'm going to decide to try to flinch him first. Right, we draws. That's fine. To Cursula. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, that, that's the thing with Curse Leto. It stinks real bad. But I can flinch this guy with with some luck, of course. But I didn't. But I didn't. So I will always spend Hex here. I need a flinch. Don't want to see this. Oh, I really, really need that flinch. Or Hex eats me. Strength sap. Okay, how much will he recover from this? Actually, I'll say enough. I'm just surprised I haven't flinched him. You gotta go for Hex now, that's... it's no other option. There we go! There we go, nice! Should've nasty plot when I had the chance. Right, gonna get the knockout. Kursla was... scary. Kinda glad it wasn't a weak armor. Or, you know, it should be. Since I didn't activate this parish, uh, we can't really have to touch, have to touch the guy. Of course, my mistake. Okay, so we have Bishop, which is a massive threat, <coughs> and of course it can't get flinched. Like I said before. I think I can get the max here and try to take him out. His play should kinda be to eradicate me from here, uh, but I'm pretty sure he has uh, a focus sash here, so I will not knock him out. But if he goes for an iron head on his own or a max steel spike, I'm pretty sure I could survive it. Come on, do a thing. Do a thing. Oh, he didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Bit surprised there. Probably more surprised that I probably... No, there is Sash, right? It had to be a Sash. Why? Why did you do that? It makes no sense. Or if it does, I don't see it. Right, all creamy. And uh, this guy could be dangerous, though. The only merit I have here is I can flinch him if I really have to. His play probably going to be to try to maximize his damage output uh, with a draining kiss or his. It's not called draining kiss, but oh, it's not that form. I was thinking of that um, um, it's alternate. Um, Cake form has a um, Gigant Max move to recover its HP quite nicely, but that wasn't the case. So, yeah, Max Airstream does not do anything really. <clears throat> and, uh, Vitaly with a Max Flare. I'm not sure it will do so much that either. But this Pokemon has Recover, so. Should I go for Max Flare on my own? Come on, just consider you know, which which does more. You don't necessarily need the speed. Oh, you're stalling me out, son of a bitch. Makes total sense though. Alright. The way I see it, 
I shouldn't be able to take another hit from this guy, so I'm here slashing here to get as much damage as possible. And uh, that'll let him take me out. I actually think I'm in quite a rough spot, actually. Not gonna lie. He should have recover. So, yeah, I need to go for damage. Like, I was considering Veil, but quite frankly, I think Beatrix should take something out of this. That's alright. It did alright. Um, the only risk of potentially being frozen. Gotta see the issues with this. Gotta see the issues with this. Come on, buddy. Risk of fire, right? That's gonna knock me out. Oh, <laughs> ah. Okay, that's a wrap. That should absolutely have killed me. This is this is a bulky all creamy. I'll give him that. Um. All right, so Beatik did not really have to take the center stage here. Obama Snow came through though. Two times the shot. That was actually nothing kind of cool. I, I like that. I like a bomb of snow. It's absolutely shit, but I like it. <laughs> In this format, it's so hard to use right. Um, but yeah, when I check my opponent's team, um, I kind of feel yeah, this is this is not right. <laughs> but Hydreigon made sense for this matchup. I feel a bashful variant. Interesting. And then Dragon Dart Steel Wind. I have seen this set going though. This set is actually quite good. Um, whether or not it's the right one, I couldn't tell you. Sassy seems kind of, kind of weird. Um, hmm. I'll just take the perspective. Like I've seen this set, Dragon Dart Steel Wind, to get it with. I do believe it's Flame Throw with Fire Blast with uh, uh, Dragon Dance or being Choice Banded with uh, Filler Move, and it was worked quite right. All creamy as ooh, this could have been really tough had it been able to pull it off. Cool. Um, okay. I have my reason to believe we were facing somebody who had a rough time naturally. This cursor should have had earth power. But Will O Wisp and Hex is nasty. Good decision on him. But yeah, that will be this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um Let's see, we should now go up at least one more rank. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna use this team one more time at least, so you guys get a feeling for it. So, with that said, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.